So I know a lot of you are probably feeling like us having the post summertime blues. When September comes around, it's just that feeling of like, oh man, pool days are done. Experts actually say that September is one of the best times of the entire year to start a new routine or habit, whether it's starting a new habit of meal prep and meal planning or simply making the bed in the morning, like building in new and upgraded habits into your morning routine or your daily routine. Maybe you're embarking on a new fitness adventure. Whatever the case may be, I am so obsessed with Audible. I'm always interested in self-improvement from the standpoint of how can I make my morning routine more streamlined, more efficient, more condensed, but still getting that oomph, that bang for my buck. My hands down favorite app on my phone is Audible. Dusty and I have shared an Audible account for several years now. We have quite the extensive collection of books, most of which are in the self-help or mental health category. For example, Atomic Habits. Or right now, I'm really interested in Tony Robbins and kind of like motivation and silencing that inner critic, trying to access that self-generating place of power rather than seeking it from external sources. How can I unleash the power within like the book title says? So I highly recommend checking out Audible. I'm listening to it every single day while I get ready. If you're interested in checking out Audible, new members can actually get their first 30 days free. All you have to do is head to audible.com slash eatmoverest or text eatmoverest to 500-500. Oh my gosh, you guys. So this has happened a couple times. No joke, Liv wakes herself up and comes out into the living room, grabs the Apple remote, which I don't even know how she gets, and she somehow turns on music. Right now she's listening to ZZ Top. I turn the corner and she's jumping up and down on the couch. Max runs out to dance with her, and it's like eight in the morning. Bo's hacking on something. Liv's got ZZ Top playing, and. I set the alarm off trying to get Bo outside to get some water. And do you want to talk about what's on your face? <laughs> it's kind of like licking stamps and sticking them all over your forehead to create like a paper mache mask. You sleep in it overnight. Brownies are actually like a natural Botox alternative. So yeah, I've been experimenting with it and I'm noticing a difference. I tend to have this natural RBF frown face and this has really helped to retrain my muscles. Okay, our morning routine includes oil pulling. We've been doing it for probably like seven, eight years. Basically, you take a scoop of coconut oil, supposed to pull toxins, spit it out, and then I do some tongue scraping before I brush. Oil pulling is another great Botox alternative because if Dusty's oil pulling, I don't have to listen to him yell at me. And that makes me not have to use my brownies. Uh, 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 uh. Baking soda and coconut oil. We've been making our own toothpaste for years. Put a little bit on the toothbrush. Aaron likes peppermint. I like wintergreen. Put a little drop on the toothbrush. Doot, doot. Actually, brush little... away. <laughs> okay, so here's the after. My forehead is as smooth as a bowling ball. There's no lines here or here. So this is a great way to age gracefully instead of trying to anti-age and fight aging. Then afterwards, I just like to put on my herbal face food. It's so clean, you could eat it. It's just the rarest plants from around the world with the highest Oryx score of any skincare. It's the most aging gracefully serum on the market. <laughs> I do have some sunspots on my chest, so I just spot treat the entire area. My skincare routine is super basic, but I actually do have some guys that ask. I use organic jojoba oil and some lotion. I found it on Amazon. I've got really greasy skin naturally, but I found that in order to combat the grease, I have to stay oiled up, lotioned up myself. So I apply this stuff like once, twice, maybe even three times a day. This is the jojoba again that I'm using for my skin, morning, day, and night, and for the kids. I like it in a plastic bottle because it's good for travels. I know plastic isn't best, but it'll break if it's glass and it's shoved in my bag. I do wear deodorant because I stink. Erin, of course, doesn't need deodorant because she's like an angel. But <laughs> I use essential oils, EO. Now she, now Erin's smelling her armpits. This is what I would recommend. Ancient minerals, magnesium oil. Rub this onto your pits and it works like a charm. It does actually work. I'm gonna make the bed like I do every single morning because it's important to start your day off with a small win. 
So I'm gonna do that. We're gonna go make, what are we doing? Green juice and smoothies? Yeah, so Saturday morning, morning routine. I kind of feel like it doesn't mean just because it's a weekend you stop your morning routines. If anything, it should give you more time to have a better morning routine. Should we pick your outfit? Mm -hmm. Let's pull it down. Cute. Can you give me a little twirl? Let <laughs> me squeeze. Mm. Kisses, kisses. Love you. Yes, you're so pretty. Oh. I love our bedroom because it's really just such a sanctuary. We keep it as like just the place where we rest and sleep and relax. And every morning before I get out of bed and get up and go to the bathroom and check my phone and do all the things, the first thing I like to do is just lay there with my eyes closed and say a prayer. And then I run through this list in my head. So I try to think about three things that I'm thankful for. That's like things from the past. So it could be even something from yesterday. Like I'm so thankful we had such a fun day at the beach yesterday. So I run through three things I'm thankful for, three things I'm grateful for, which are present things for today. And then I do three things I'm hopeful for, which are things for the future. It's kind of like a little confidence booster. It's an internal journal. So that's what I'm gonna call it. I don't need a pen and paper. I don't need my phone. It's just me, myself, and I, and God. The other thing that's the best is French braiding your little girl's hair. I mean, it really doesn't get better than that. You're so pretty. Turn around so we can see your hair. Can you squat? Oh, it's so cute. Okay, go show dad your hair. Can you give me a wave? Good morning, you guys. So we are shooting a YouTube video while posting today's YouTube video. Starting the day with a massive 32 ounces of water while posting today's YouTube video, getting caught up on comments and sharing it everywhere. So it's kind of weird posting a video as we're shooting a video, but that's always top of mind on Saturday mornings as part of our morning routine. So we're all getting super hungry. I'm gonna make some juice. So I'm making our green juice and this morning's mix has celery, cucumber, chard, romaine, baby kale, lemon, lime, a little bit of parsley and cilantro, fresh. And we're also gonna do ginger turmeric shots and then I'm juicing a whole bunch of apple juice for the kids. But I always like to mix in the green juice as well and kind of hide it in there. This is about the amount I do for our ginger turmeric shots. One lemon, a small, like an inch of turmeric like a whole hand of ginger, if that's what you want to call it. And usually this will make us a little bit extra and I'll store it in a little airtight jar in the fridge for shots for an extra day or so. I usually just do it like halfway and then add water. It ain't much, but it's almost worth it. Feeling, I'm feeling, I'm feeling so alive. I actually heard something really cool the other day and it was basically saying how the day starts at midnight, right? So we think like the morning is the start of the day, but the truth is nighttime is the start of our day. You guys know that Aaron and I talk so much about how sleep and rest is often overlooked and undervalued, but the truth is the day starts at night. We start our days with rest. Nighttime rest is so important and the morning seriously sets up the rest of your day. It's often very busy, very active, and for us, it's like so important to do it really, really well. So I just thought that was a super interesting thing that the day actually starts with rest. So if you're feeling like, yeah, it's a new season, there's a shift, and I definitely feel like I wanna jump into the 2.0 version of myself, Something that we recently did was we joined a mastermind group. So it's a group of individuals kind of committed on the same path. Basically, we're just motivating and encouraging and inspiring each other and sharing what we've done so far and learning from one expert person who's kind of heading up the group. That could be something you could try out or we're listening to one of his audible titles 
as we speak. We've been really working on this kind of stuff with the kids as well. So I think as parents, a lot of times we get caught up in mind your manners, don't do this, don't do that. But we also really wanna focus on the power of positivity and mindset and confidence, these things that we don't think of until we're older and we're in the real world, but it really should start as the foundation in our youth when we're super young. So there's a lot of times where Max is like, I can't do it, and we make sure to flip the script. And on the drive home from the library the other day, I was like, this was mainly for me, being that I speak on my fears that come out as negativity. I was like, you know what? Let's try and go 30 days saying only the positive. And I was telling Max like what positive means and what negative means. What if the consequence would be we have to go an hour without our cell phone? So that seemed like a great incentive and a good reason to flip the script. So you might wanna try that for yourself too. I was sitting out on the deck listening to how to win friends and influence people. And the kids are running around and playing. I I really do believe even if the kids like don't comprehend these things I really do believe in like the power of like osmosis like absorbing things just because they're in our environment we love audible for that reason too like we always have something positive uplifting energizing motivating playing even if it's just in the background What kind of smoothie bowl? Pink one. Pink one? What goes in it? It's going to be a tropical berry bowl. So it's going to have mixed berries, but then the tropical twist is the banana, mango, and passion fruit combo. We're going to add in a scoop of our favorite Sun Warrior protein and camu, which is extremely high in vitamin C. It's like 500% in one teaspoon. Your body needs amino acids and vitamin C to produce more of its own collagen. So the perfect combo is camu plus a scoop of protein powder. And when we make a pink bowl, we do pitaya, but when we do a purple bowl, we add acai. acai. It's one of our favorite superfoods for antioxidants. Also got a good amount of omega-3, 6, and 9 in it, which is surprising for a berry that grows on a palm tree. Who wants to scoop and add the camu? All right, you guys, we're gonna go enjoy our smoothie bowls before we get in a good sweaty garage workout. So just keep in mind, eat, move, rest, hence our channel name. That's really the framework of a successful start to your day. Intentional and healthy meals, movement, and mindfulness. So it doesn't have to look fancy and you don't have to reinvent the wheel every single day. And if you've been on our channel for quite some time, then a lot of this may seem like repetition. Lots of green juice, lots of smoothie bowls, lots of salads, lots of soups, stews, and curries. But honestly, it doesn't take reinventing the wheel to become healthier and happier. It really just takes consistency. So find what works for you and wake up every morning knowing that's what you're gonna tackle and life becomes a breeze. Begin to hit the momentum, hit your stride, and the rest is history. Then you have more time to focus on showing up as your 2.0 version of yourself for your friends, your family, your coworkers, and so on and so forth. So this is your reminder, when the clock strikes midnight tonight, your day starts, start it the right way, and eat, move, rest your best. Be sure to check out our Eat, Move, Rest meal planner and recipe app for these and other recipes like it. And make sure you grab your free 30-day trial of Audible by heading to audible.com slash eat, move, rest, or texting eat, move, rest to 500-500. You in the mood, say I can do this all night long, say DJs play my song. 